So let's take a look now at the effect that negative feedback has on the input resistance of the circuit. And in order to do that, I have modified slightly my uh, model of the amplifier A to include the, the open loop input resistance, the input resistance of the amplifier before it is connected in, in feedback. Um, we can, in order to explore the input resistance, uh, we can simply calculate the current that's going into the circuit, II, and we know that the input resistance over, of the overall feedback system, um, RIF, so closed loop input resistance, RI, I'm going to call it RI sub F uh, for feedback. Uh, feedback system, it's going to be V in divided by I in. And so I can apply uh, initially my uh, my KVL um, to, to the loop that goes uh, from V in and through all the way to ground. Um, and I can see that V in sum of voltage rises equals sum of voltage drops. So V in is equal to V E um, plus Vf. And we can you know, also see that because Ve is the difference between Ve and Vf, and so we can just turn around that equation. Um, I can express V sub E um, as I in times Ri. That will be the, the um, the IE input current times RI, the input resistance of the op amp, as labeled in that figure. So I in times RI for VE, and then uh, VF, it's going to be beta times V out, and V out is in itself equal to A times, uh, times VE. So V out is equal to the gain times V sub E. And then Vf is beta times V out or beta times A times Ve. And V, we just said, is equal to Ii times Ri. So uh, beta times A times Ii times Ri. And so from here, I can uh, factor out Ii and end up with Vi is equal to Ii Ri 1 plus A times beta. So notice again that A times beta, that closed loop uh, uh, gain. And now I can basically just calculate my RIF from there. It's VI over II, which is RI, the input resistance of the op amp, times 1 plus A times beta. So connecting the op amp in this negative feedback configuration has increased the input resistance by a factor of 1 plus A times beta. And uh, this doesn't always happen when you have negative feedback, but it does always happen when you have uh, the serious shunt type of feedback. That is the one that we have in this circuit. Um, and so therefore we can see um, with serious shunt negative feedback, RIF um, increases, or the input resistance of the feedback loop increases with respect to the, the input resistance of the op amp by factor 1 plus A times beta. And in all reality, since typically um, A times beta will be much larger than 1, we can approximate RIF to be approximately RI uh, times the loop gain, A times beta. So that's an approximation we can make. Um, and in any case, this is a good result for this particular case, for, for a voltage amplifier. Uh, it's a desirable result because it means negative feedback not only has stabilized our gain, but it has also increased our input resistance. And it just so happens in a voltage amplifier, we would like to have an input resistance that is as large as possible. So negative feedback is helping us in that regard. Um, let's take a look now at how the 
um, uh, the negative feedback affects the output impedance uh, for the non-inverting amplifier. Thank you.